say your name? Kyle, Kyle Sapchik. Sapchik. And what do you want Sapchik. to be called? And what's the name of the show? Set the Impaired Grappler. Podcast. Impero. Sava. Whatever. Your accent, I can't understand what you're saying. Impero. Impaired. Impero. The Impaired Grappler. Imp- the Impaired Grappler. The Impaired yeah, Grappler. The Impairment. Uh, oh, actually, I'll get out of that shot. So, alright. Let's uh, start. Hi guys, I'm the Impaired Grappler and welcome to my podcast. Today we have a very special guest uh, from America, just recently, the newest black belt in the Pedro Sau Association. Last night he got his black belt here in the Posada in Petropolis. Um, yeah, so and there's there's a bell for lunch, so we're going to do a quick, uh, quick <laughs> one. Oh, let's go, let's go. Yeah, no rush, man. Yeah, so his name's uh, Kyle Stefchik. Yes, sir. Oh, uh, Kyle Stefchik, his accent, you know, he's pretty close. Kyle <laughs> Stefchik, that's correct, man. That's it. All right, so like basically, so tell us about like um, coming here and like you just came here for two days to get your black belt pretty much. So like the rest of us are here for like a week or 10 days. So yeah. tell us uh, about like flying here just for a couple of days and the experience and yeah, so, uh, you know, I was offered the opportunity to get my black belt in Brazil. Why wouldn't I? I'm Professor Sauer, Gracie, Jiu-Jitsu. Um, so, uh, you know, I, I do have two little boys at home and my wife. And so I want to get back immediately. It's hard for me to be away. It's my heart, you know. So I was like, Professor, I'm coming out. I'm spending the 24 hours there with you. We're going to have a great time. Uh, test for my belt. He's like, absolutely. And uh, that's what it's been about. You know, I'm training here with uh, awesome guys. You know, we were able to meet. Yeah. Um, the Impaired Grappler is awesome, um, knows a lot of stuff. I love talking to this guy, so it's a pleasure to be on the show. Um, but, uh, I mean, straight up, you know, I, this is just like what you dream of as a Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu artist, man. Yeah. Getting your black belt in Brazil, like I'm wearing this just sun right now, actually, you know, we're just back in the shade just chilling, but there's a pool on the other side of this, and, you know, we're just swimming in the pool, and then we can get off the, out of the pool, grapple, and just have a good time. Um, it's literally like that. So all the grapplers that are watching this, you're probably like, oh, my gosh, it's paradise. Weather is literally perfect, and then right when you start to get a little warm, there's this light breeze that comes out of nowhere like yeah. God just blows on you so um, bottom line it's been awesome and it's, it's it's such an honor to be you know the newest black belt in this organization yeah that's it well my favorite thing is the waterfall just behind us up there we got a chance to jump in there before it's the best thing it was a little that's weird that's the main reason I, I can't I, I don't know why you got naked but <laughs> hey thank you it was great training um, yeah it was weird when you like, had the yeah. speed up but then when you went butt naked I had to dip out but yeah it was a good time well you know like when in Rio you gotta like <laughs> no, 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 you didn't have to go naked, bro, like, that, but it's yeah, all good, it's all good, it's all yeah. good. But, you know, like, I'm sort of coming out of my shell a bit lately, so, like, I'm just trying to, you know, just trying to just fit in with the, with the boys, so, so, yeah, so, like, you, you've got, you got a lot of companies and, like, media, media company and, like, you're going into local politics and all that sort of stuff, can you just, like, um, give us a brief rundown of, yeah, basically... What, I can't. I, I can't <laughs> do a brief rundown. It's gonna take us a while, but I'll do whatever what I can do. My main. All right. Let's just. I just want to tell you a little bit about what I do. I own an MMA and sport gym. That's kind of why I'm here right now. This is my love. This is my therapy. People are always asking me like, "Yo, like, how's the gym doing?" Blah blah. blah. I'm like, "That's like my hobby. Like, why is everyone keep talking about the gym? That's my hobby. That's my place at home. That's my therapy. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So. That's awesome. That's great. You know, uh, and we just opened up a hookah lounge, which mm-hmm. you guys have to come out to yeah. and just chill and relax. Everything in the hookah lounge is from Abu Dhabi or Dubai. We actually shopped in Dubai yeah. and Abu Dhabi with my partner. What's and the name uh, of that lounge? It's called Exhale Lounge. We call it Exhale Frederick as well. It's in downtown Frederick. Awesome spot if you're ever in uh, Maryland. Um, but then, um, you know, I do other things. My first company was KSF Entertainment, and that's been my big bread and butter. That's what's helped, helped me do so much. Mm-hmm. You know, we do everything from like stage, lighting, sound, uh, production, inflatables, impersonators, DJs, bands. I, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And just over the years, making so many good relationships, that's been able to flourish as well. Yeah. Um, we do not wave it our own nonprofit now. Um, we, uh, we had this event called Girl Power where thousands of girls come to this awesome event free, you know, and I'm the only dude there just like, this is awesome, you know, and me and my wife kick back and just have a good time with amazing people. All these different events, I'll cut it there. Those are the main projects right now. But yes, I am running for uh, county council in Maryland. I'm not a politician. I'm a public servant, but uh, it's going to be fun uh, going in there and just really putting some realness back in there, to be honest with you. Yeah, fair enough. So Did was you fall it? Asleep? Yeah, yeah, pretty I know, much. Yeah, yeah. Well, you know, like, uh, you know, I like politics, so that's all right. <laughs> it keeps me up. <laughs> keeps me up at night, the politics that's happening. I like the rest of the world, but does anyway. It, does, so, it, does it really keep you up? No. Nah, oh, okay. No, it's very worrisome, but it doesn't keep me up. <laughs> um, well, when I said, yo, I'm like running, you like grab me, and you're like, what are you doing? What are you doing? <laughs> yeah, it was weird, because yeah, we well, didn't know each other. I didn't even know your name at that point. 
Yeah, I have to just make sure that you're on the right side. Of, um, <laughs> <laughs> you know, like, whatever like, side you're on, man, I'm yeah. on that side. We can't have evil black belts <laughs> running around. There's pol politicians out there. We don't, you, we don't this, know what the hell's going to happen. You were like, yo, you're going to be the first politician with a neck tattoo? <laughs> that's, like, that's, yeah, the that's the first thing it. you say? Yeah, yo, you're going to be the first politician with a neck that's tattoo. That's what I love. That's Thanks, I love. man. I appreciate your support. That, that'll be awesome. Yeah. <laughs> that's why politicians wear ties. Ties to cover the neck tattoos. <laughs> I was um, always wondering about that. So, so was, it the, was it the jiu-jitsu... <laughs> That has helped you with your business or just the fact you've always been like this multi a lot of that interest in always on the go it's been jujitsu like people you know i'm the uh, god's first my family second but other than that brazilian jiu-jitsu is the best thing in my life man it's taught me like so much you know my business is thirst because of brazilian jiu-jitsu i yeah. swear to you that's the secret yeah. yo kyle man what are you doing well, like, everything i do in business world in my relationship world which is just as perfect is jujitsu man yeah. Dealing with frust uh, frustration and uh, bad situations the right way, relaxing, mm -hmm. being patient in life, just loving time, being a kid forever, that's Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. The concepts are universal. Unreal. And you just transfer that over. Yeah. You know, and the guys that are here, like when we're, when we're grappling, it's like flowing, it's like a connection, like you, you get it. You know what I'm saying? And you have to get through those first stages. Like people start Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, like they're out, they don't get the long-term thing. But the people that are, have been in this, involved years and years, it's just a whole concept of how you treat life. Mm. And, and, and it does help knowing you could rock anybody, you know what I'm saying? That does help knowing yeah. like if there's a situation, it's going down, you'll be all right. So that even helps as well. So yeah, that's it. You're just overall confident in what you're going for. And who cares if you lose? Because in Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, you get tapped thousands of times. Yeah. We're only good. I only got my black belt because I've been tapped out more than, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's that's why I got it. So that's how, how life is. You have to know the bad. there's going to be bad times, and then you just get through it and you get yeah. stronger from it. It's over. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, so. Did I, say, did I talk too long? No, no, that's fine. Because no, you were like, looking around no, no, no. like, is he going to stop? That's no, I'm just trying like. to like, no, I'm just trying to look comfortable you for the camera. You were looking around like, is this dude going to stop? So like, that's why I cut it off. It kind of like made me stop out of my flow. <laughs> no, I'm just trying to make sure I'm concentrating what you're saying. I'm not, I'm not forgetting everything like I normally do. Uh, uh, wait, what did he just say? Um, yeah, uh, no, no, that's all good. Now, look, just, <laughs> just wanted to like touch on a, like, a topic of like what injuries you've had because I'm the grappler and like how you've gotten over injuries and just in general, like, the concept of order and chaos, how have you found order in times of chaos, like growing up or like in your life that's sort of, that you've overcome something and like lessons learned from that concept? Wow. Sort of a double question. That's a yeah. double question and then you like yeah, made it and even and harder. Yeah. So we're going to revisit the harder one in a second. Yeah, that's it. But now I forget what the first one was. Yeah, me too. What <laughs> so what was the first one? So <laughs> what do you want to know? The, the second one first, but then the, like you touch on the worst injuries and what you've Worst like injuries, so you do remember, because yeah. I literally forgot. Yeah. So worst injuries, um, honestly, man, I've been injured so many times, I just get to learn to get over it now. As we're sitting here right now, my neck wants to, you know, it feels like it's the wrong way. But, but it's any like concepts I, that you that you found that actually helped? helped. Ice baths, bro. Ice baths have been crazy for me. It sucks getting in it, but mm. you get over that first two minutes, your body goes numb, but you get out of there feeling like uh, just amazing. Yeah, I learned that in my triathlon days. And uh, and also don't just rush back in patience let it heal right right mm. do some other things that's going to prepare everything else go for a run if your arm's hurting right like whatever it yeah, might yeah. be and then like you what you're doing bro like you literally he wraps up his arm and he'll have like a tennis ball to protect his arm so he it's, he's still rolling like, i got to roll with him today and he was like still just awesome with one arm and that's what i like to see like you're still making yourself better so when it does get better or not you're prepared doesn't yeah, matter exactly. that's training right there that's not what people can stick with you I know i always love getting smashed by black dogs so yeah well, I, might, I might like cut in some of that video we'll see so that's the, the first one is like, so i've had stitches you know i've had my nose look at my nose it's like half you know my mom always like says like if she can punch it the other way and fix it she'd be happy yeah. like she literally and then my wife said the other day congratulations i said why she said you just made the guinness book of records uh guinness book of records for having the most unsymmetrical face she said that to me after i said like baby i love you so much i said some like deep stuff to her mm -hmm. and she's like oh you're so sweet because i i want to congratulate you too and then she said that I'm not even kidding. Like, uh, she's going to be like, yeah, I did say that. But anyways, um, the second question, and this will be what we'll finish maybe yeah, with, I think, I think because you obviously yeah. don't want to talk to me anymore. Obviously because not. you look because around. My, my stomach's grumbling. <laughs> Bro, like, we can stop it now. No, no, no answer that That question. was a test. Answer All right, that, that was a test. That was a test. So, <laughs> <laughs> what's the question? The order and chaos and um, how you... Any Listen, this is the straight up. You find the coolest, chillest people in the world, and you stick to those people. You don't deal with the crap. People talk crap. You, know, you just say, yo, I love you, bro. It's all good. I'm moving on. I got to do some stuff. 
You know what I'm saying? That's that, you know, there's chaos everywhere. Things are going wrong with everybody. Everybody yes. has shit to go through, right? Let's not lie right. about this. The people you see at the top, they're just dealing with more crap. There's right? not a person on the board that's not going through. It's just how you deal with things. And that's all you have to do is this, bro. I'm going get, to get this done anyway, so let me just make the best of this. Boom. You're never upset. You're never cloudy. So ordering chaos straight up, man. BJJ, getting everything. They, BJJ is the system to fix all that. Fix everything. You have a therapy, you need therapy. Don't go to pay somebody that's just gonna like judge you and they have a worse life than you do. Go to Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. You need to get fit. You wanna find out who you need to get fit, go to Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. You had a bad day, go to Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. You don't feel well, go to Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. You're you're afraid to uh, go 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 talk to a spouse that might hurt you. I don't know, you know what I'm saying? Domestic violence, I don't care. Mm. Domestic violence, uh, street uh, street fights, people just picking fights for no reason. Do Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. I say that because we get like a lot of women that come in and with you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. It's, a, it's the only self-defense art that is useful for smaller people, women, everyone. So, like when I saw you, I was like, "Look at this!" Like I didn't want to say shrimp out loud, but I was like, "Look at this thin, like little dude, like stick figure." I thought you were like a yeah. stick dude. Like I, I thought. Well, what, what is that? <laughs> I'm not trying to be mean, but well, I literally was like, "That, that might be a stick figure." So then I grappled with you a little bit, and I was like, "I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I don't even want to grapple with him because I'm gonna crush him." Yeah. But then you were actually like the man, mm. and it was fun. Yeah. Because you know I stuff. Because you I train Brazilian yeah. Jiu-Jitsu and you actually know stuff. You dealt with the crap, you're dealing with your arm, and you actually deal with it, and now you're legit. Mm. With one arm. Hopefully. <laughs> Hopefully. All right. Well, well, thanks a lot for that. Um, we'll be uh, keeping an eye on your progress. Um, yeah, so the latest latest black belt in the Pedro Sauer Association. He doesn't have his black belt yet, but we'll get it when he gets home. <laughs> uh, I think it was a bit rushed, but yeah, that's Did he right. put a black belt on me? Uh, he borrowed. He borrowed one, did it for the photos? Did Ooh. he? Did he? I can't remember. I was too busy bloody packing up all the shit. Yeah. But anyway, you're a black belt now, bro. I tested. You're a black a belt test. now. It was a good test. All right, and I'll be putting that up, and we'll share and all that stuff as well. Uh, I'm not so, even listening, bro. Because let's be honest. Yeah, no, you're a star. <laughs> oh, we're both starving. Listen, we're starving. <laughs> anyway, we're gonna leave it at that. So thanks a lot for being on. <laughs> Uh, Kyle, not Kylo Ren, thank God. <laughs> <laughs> and we'll see you guys later. Impero right. out. Hey. Kyle out. Thanks. Cheers. Hey, 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 hey.